Ever since Pokemon first came into my life, one of the things that I've always admired and loved was the addition of the ever so popular Eevee and its evolutions. The power of choice is why I love these little guys so much. There's just so many options of evolutions. From Vaporeon, Umbreon, Espeon to the ever so powerful Sylveon, there is a total of 8 amazing creatures to choose from. But with that being said, there are 18 different types in the Pokemon. Pokemon games, and 10 of them are still left unused for an evolution. And that's very sad to hear. Well, at least from a Pokemon perspective, because <laughs> wallet wise, <laughs> but in all seriousness, I would like to see a lot more evolution variations. So today, I decided to make an entire video dedicated to all the possible new evolutions that could show up in Generation 8 or Pokemon on the Switch. Whatever, I don't know. Now, since I am going to be talking about all the possible evolutions, I can't go about this video doing it the conventional way, or else this video would be like 20 minutes long and I already get enough complaints about that. Like I get it man, okay? My videos are long, I'm sorry. God, I just, I just can't take it anymore. <laughs> I just can't. <clears throat> so, anyways, what I will be doing in this video is showing you guys possible designs, names, origins of those names, and how it can evolve. And speaking of designs, I do not own any of these awesome Fakemon designs. All the creators will be credited in the description as well as in the video, so be sure to check out their social media links after this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And with that being said, let's get started. So during that entire intro, you guys were probably thinking, why did he say 10 unused evolutions instead of 9? And if you didn't, well, I guess I underestimated your intelligence. Just kidding, but seriously, a topic of interest to discuss when thinking of evolutions is whether or not we're getting a normal type one. I personally am on the side where I think that they're going to do it, so I thought, well, let's get the boring one out of the way. When thinking of ideas for a Pokemon of this caliber, I wanted it to be on the more simple and boring side. Normal, if you will. And I think this design made by a Pixiv user named Engo is perfect for a simple evolution. I think my favorite favorite thing about this design is the fact that it draws inspiration to the Gen 1 sprite of Eevee. It's a great callback to where it came from. As for a name, the obvious one that would come to mind would have to be Eeveon, but I just think that sounds really silly. I think a better and more creative name for it would probably have to be something like Nixion. And before we get anywhere, no, it's not a reference to the almost impeached President Richard Nixon. That I welcome this kind of examination because people have got to know whether or not their president is a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. Nix actually just means nothing, which is perfect for a normal type because it's really got nothing going on. And in German folklore, the Nix is a shape-shifting water spirit, so you could also say that it applies to Eevee, being that it can shape-shift its typing to literally anything by just evolving a certain type of way. It's kind of a stretch, but in order to have it make more sense, I will also be giving this Pokemon the ability Protean. And finally, as a way to evolve, I think just leveling up Eevee to 25 is perfectly <coughs> normal. All in all, I really don't care that much for a normal type evolution, but I think this would be the coolest way to do it. Now I think one of the most difficult typings to turn into an evolution has to be the fighting type. Considering the Eevee line is quadrupedal and this typing is mostly built for bipeds, things can get a bit complicated design wise. But I think this design made by Devil D-Man takes on the challenge perfectly and succeeded in the process. Now sure, the face may remind you a bit of Sylveon, but I think there are a lot of key differences that make it its own thing. And I gotta say I love the addition of the karate belt tail and the fist shaped ears. 
It helps signify that it's a fighting type and just looks cool aesthetically. And for a name, the absolute perfect one that fits so well with this Pokemon has to be Champion. It's simply just a play on words with a fighting champion and just sounds really cool. As for a way to evolve, I think leveling Eevee up to level 25 holding the black belt would be the best option that makes the most sense. If an Eevee Lucian was to pop up in the next Pokemon games, I would really be interested to see Champion in Generation 8. Now I know that I've been kind of hating on the rock typing as of late, but there's something that I can never take away from them, and that is the fact that they have some of the most amazingly well-designed Pokemon. I mean, Tyranitar, Aerodactyl, Tyrantrum, the almighty Lord Helix, come on, they've got some good stuff here. And I believe this design made by Neo will make us have to add another Pokemon to that stacked list. What I think works so well for this design has to be the fact that it manages to stray away from the other evolution designs and make it its own unique thing. Name wise, I think Igneon or Obsidian would be perfect for this design just because, well, rocks. I will say though, I do like Igneon a bit better just because I think it sounds cooler. Or I guess hotter in this case, get it? Cause, cause Magma Rock? Funny. But either way, they'll both work really well. And finally, to evolve it, I would love to see it having to level up to level 25 and with an added bonus, have the final battle take place in a cave area since, you know, rocks. Rock, like I said before, won't be the best typing for Eevee competitively, but it might rival every one of the other Eeveelutions design-wise. It's just so freaking cool. One of the most interesting typings to have ever been introduced to the Pokemon franchise has to be the ever so common flying type. I say this because you rarely see a case where there is a primary flying type Pokemon. The only ones we have are Noivern and Tornadus. And well, if Game Freak ever decides to add a new evolution to the games, a definite interesting choice would have to be a flying type one. And I think this design made by Startboy8 definitely highlights the word interesting. The wings are most definitely the best part of this design, but I also love the little things like its cloud tail and starry eyes. As for a name, Starboy likes to call it Olympion, which is cool, but I prefer the name Valorion. The word Valor comes from the Latin language, which basically translates to flying, which is pretty simple, but sounds really freaking cool. And to evolve it, I think the coolest way to do it is to level Eevee up in the sky, meaning either in a sky battle or through through hopefully a returning soaring battle. The idea may seem like a bit of a stretch and time consuming, but it's definitely the most interesting. I gotta say, one of the least interesting types I have to talk about in this video has to be the vermin of the Pokemon franchise, the bug types. Now on paper, I think a bug type evolution would be interesting to see, but when you put it to action, I do think this typing will be horrible in competitive battle. But I do think this design made by Tamron Frog makes the idea for a bug type evolution a whole lot more appealing. I love how the artist made the design so pretty. I can definitely see a resemblance to the Lunamoth. As for a name, Insecteon seems a bit too basic, but I think Lepedion, which Tamron came up with, could work pretty well. Lepidoptera, which is what the name is based on, is actually an order of insects which includes moths and butterflies. And as for an evolution, I would love to see Eevee having to evolve through learning a certain bug type move like Leech Life or Bug Bite and having to level up in the forest. I think it's an interesting concept and I would love to see it happen in the future. Poison is a uh, is is a, is a typing. It's also a band, and can kill people, and uh, 
It's a, it, it, it's a poison. We're, we're going to be talking about the poison now. I mean, I just don't know how to segue this into making it something interesting because I'm really just not that interested in the poison type. I mean, sure, there's interesting Pokemon like Naganadel, Dragalge, and Weezing, but I'm just not interested in the type itself. But I gotta say, this design made by Devil D-Man completely changes my mind about the poison type. Now I really want a poison poison type evolution. I mean just look at it. It looks so awesome. It's literally to me the best design fake mon evolution I have ever seen. Name wise, Toxion is a common one thrown around, but I think Etrion is a much better option. In case you guys don't know, Etir is a poison derived from Norse mythology. The story goes that the liquid Etir is the source of life and death. Etir was used to create the earth as we know it, and also happens to be the deadliest poison of all time, being strong enough to kill gods. Fun fact, it was actually used to kill Thor after the great battle of Ragnarok. If you want to learn more, I highly suggest you guys go look it up, because Norse mythology is just really interesting. As for a means to evolve, I would love to see the toxic ore being used here, but just having to level it up while being poisoned is more than enough for me. There is no no doubt this Pokemon would be amazing to have in the future games, and I would definitely have one on my team. Dark, Psychic, and Ghost. I think besides Fire, Water, and Grass, that Trinity is a pair that is synonymous with the Pokemon franchise. We already got Dark and Psychic evolutions, but what surprises me to this day is that we still haven't gotten a Ghost-type evolution. And the ideas for this typing are literally endless, but what I think is one of the best out of all of them has to be this design made by James Crab. I just love the detail and thought put into this design, from the wispy fur to its green eyes. I also see a lot of inspiration drawn from the Kuda Gitsune, but I might not be right there. And since the artist credits their brother for coming up with the Wispy Fur, I think there is no other option to go with name-wise than Wispion. You could also go with something more ghostly like Damion, which is a play on words for demon and is also Lucifer's son, but only in the Omen series. But again, I just like the sentiment. As for an evolution, I think a very cool way to go about it is to level it up to 25 and have it faint in battle. I know it sounds weird, but I think it's a very cool way to show how Eevee has to die to become a ghost. Either way, a ghost type evolution is a must have for the Pokemon games. When I made the video last week talking about what I believe is the strongest Pokemon type, a lot of people were surprised when I left out the ground type. Now, I still don't believe it's a top 3 Pokemon type, but I most definitely can agree that it is one of the strongest typings offensively. So when you pair a strong offensive type with an evolution, magic is bound to happen. And I think this design made by the ever so talented Devil D-Man does a great job of capturing the magic. Sand even though Anakin Skywalker hates it, is something that I think works really well with Pokemon. I especially love the Sandcastle tail, it's a nice touch. I mean, sure, it kind of reminds me of Palosan, but like the fighting type evolution, I think it strays far enough away to make it its own thing. As for a name, Canyon, Terion, and Sandion are all good choices, but what I think is the best option has to be the name Quarion. A quarry, for those who don't know, is a deep dark pit from which stone and other materials have been extracted. Not that interesting of an origin, but I like the name. And as for a way to evolve, I'd like to see Eevee go through a similar method to Leafeon and Glaceon, only instead you would have to find a sandy stone in a desert light area. Like I said before, a ground type evolution would be great to see in a Pokemon game, and who knows, we might even get one very soon.
And speaking of the strongest Pokemon type, the Steel Typing is also another type that hasn't been used on an Evolution. Now, defensively, I think this Pokemon is capable of being even better than Umbreon. It's not as good as it once was, but what I'm saying is that this Typing would be even better than Umbreon ever was. And that's just because Steel is the ultimate defense. And I think a perfect Pokemon to fit that Steel Typing has to be this design made by CD Hernley. I I say this because it's not too insane to the point where it doesn't look like an evolution and it doesn't look weak either. I also like the name that Hernley gives this Pokemon Alion. I think it's a perfect name for it since it is wrapped up in titanium alloy. It's simple but effective. As for an evolution, we still haven't had an evolution that requires a trade, so I think trading an Eevee holding the metal coat is sufficient enough to do the job. With Steel, it's pretty straightforward. Make a Pokemon rapid in metal and great success and Alion does a great job of that. And finally, last but certainly not least, we have probably the most wanted new evolution type of all time the dragon typing. And who can really blame the people that want this to happen? Dragons are freaking awesome to look at, and they're also very strong stat-wise. And when searching for fake Mon evolutions, I had no problem finding various different designs for the dragon type, but the one I had to go with here has to be this design made by CD Hernley. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a Chinese dragon. These things are so freaking sick. As for a name, since this design lacks any kind of of wings, I think Drakion is the perfect name for it. Drake, which is the word of origin, means a wingless dragon. And finally, as for a way to evolve, I think Max Friendship while knowing a dragon type move is something I personally would like to see. A dragon evolution is something we all want to see in a future Pokemon game, and I really hope we get one in the next Pokemon games. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and become an Aribro today. If you want to check out the previous video I did, be sure to click the annotation on the left. And if you want to see some more Generation 8 videos, click the other annotation on the right. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.